Welcome to the Top Shelf Literary Editions. This is episode 9. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, my name is Ernest Whiteman III. I'm a Northern Rapo filmmaker, artist, writer, and media educator, and I'm sharing books from my top shelf for you. Um, I'll pull one, um, give a brief synopsis, um, a review if I've read it, and a reason why I bought the book. Um, and there's a lot of books that I, I do carry, and, um, and some I have to dig out of the basement. Uh, but today's book is Louise Erdrich's Future Home of the Living God. Uh, Louise Erdrich is an Anishinaabe writer, or Ojibwe, I believe. Uh, I might be getting that wrong, so please correct me. Uh, I know she's of the Great Lakes. And she's one of the most prolific native writers uh, in literature. Uh, she's one of the few that have broken, broken through to the mainstream, have gotten won numerous awards, mm -hmm. and yet nobody really tries to promote her as much. Um, and the reason why I bought this book is because I was really intrigued by the premise. It's sort of a quasi, uh, uh, in the not-too-distant future, sci-fi uh, novel. And um, I believe... Uh, pregnancy has become outlawed in, in this future, and the young um, native woman in the book uh, finds herself becoming pregnant, and um, or it's not outlawed; it's become more controlled in that uh, the government starts rounding up every pregnant woman in the country, and she tries to hide it. And at the middle of this, at the center of this um, thing going on in the country. Uh, she is a devout Christian, and she's trying to reconcile that with what's going on. It's a very um, moving portrait of a woman who's expecting, and all of the governmental pressures that are being put on her. So it's a very metaphorical, in a sense. And um, she writes a blog that she uh, does essays on scriptures and such, and then she goes into hiding... Uh, once she tells her parents, uh, she's an adoptee, so both of her parents are uh, non-native, and um, and she goes into hiding. She, first, she goes and she finds the father, and they go into hiding together, and um, all of the the pressures that mount on her as um, she starts to come to term um, is very fascinating, and it's a really out of the box book for uh, Louise Erdrich. Um, but she handles it deftly, I think, and it held my interest. Um, uh, so I would always recommend this book. Um, and the reason I bought it was because it was uh, a the different type of book that we're used to from Native authors. And um, one, it really had something to say about, you know, the political landscape, but couching it in a sci-fi uh, dystopian sort of future. And uh, from a perspective that, you know, I don't have, and I should consider more. Um, so uh, it's a really good book. I would recommend it. Future Home of the Living God by Louise Erdrich. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.